Hi, uh, I'm going to read you an, uh, a biography about Henri Matisse. Um, he was an artist and um, he used a lot of uh, geometric figures when he um, painted. Um, so let's begin. Henry Matisse was one of the most important painters of the 20th century. He said he wanted his artwork to give people pleasure and to be soothing and kind of like a comfortable armchair you can rest in after a hard day's work. And there is a self-portrait of him. This is a uh, a, pig, a painting called The Goldfish, and you can see that he has used a cylinder right here to put his goldfish in. And he's decorated the page in a lot of different ways. Um, we're going to draw this in a minute. Henry Matisse's greatest works do just what he wanted. By perfectly balancing simple shapes and beautiful colors, his paintings seem to make you feel good all over. And you can see other cylinders all in here and uh, rectangles and I see some squares. Sometimes Henry added decorative lines and colorful patterns to his paintings. He often let the plain white canvas show through in spots to give his colors a bright sparkling feel. There's a beautiful one. And this one is called A Woman in a Kimono. Isn't that beautiful? I see lines and all kinds of shapes. Henry Matisse was born in the north of France at Le Cateau Cambrésis in 1869. That's a long time ago, over 150 years ago. Unlike most great artists, Henry didn't show the least bit of interest in art while he was growing up. And there is a little cartoon of him and his mother. And she's saying, Henry, you've been in the way all day. Why don't you go draw or finger paint or something? No thanks, Mom. I'd rather count the sunflower seeds. His parents owned a general store that sold seeds, grain, and household goods. Henry's father expected him to either work at the store or become a lawyer. When he grew up, Henry ended up going to law school, but he thought it was really boring. It wasn't until after he was 20 years old that he discovered how much he loved art. While Henry was recovering from a very serious illness, called appendicitis, his mother gave him a box of paints so he would have something to do. This was the most important moment in his life. Suddenly, he was no longer bored. He found that he loved to paint. He says, Yahoo, I am no longer bored. I am happy. Look at all his pictures on the floor. After he got better, Enray got a job as an assistant lawyer in town. He took some art courses early in the morning before work started. Soon he was spending more and more time drawing and painting. Enray even painted flowers on the legal documents he was supposed to file away. It didn't take long for him to decide to become a full-time artist his parents weren't very happy about his decision. His father was especially upset. And Ray was so excited though that he finally talked his parents into letting him study at the famous art school in Paris, France. Because in Ray Matisse hadn't become interested in art until he was an adult, he had a lot of catching up to do. He worked very hard studying all the things he would need to know to be a good artist. He learned about things like figure drawing, perspective, and composition. And this little one says, Hey, fella, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? Look, that's his picture. 
<laughs> he did have a lot to learn. During Henry Matisse's time, art schools taught students to paint in a style that everybody was used to seeing. These schools believed in certain rules that hadn't changed in years. Art students were instructed to paint carefully drawn figures and objects in dark colors, like this painting. Although Henry enjoyed many of these works, he kept thinking there might be something new that he could do to freshen up his own paintings. He had a pretty rough time at art school. He failed some important exams, and he didn't get along with most of his teachers. Fortunately, one of Henry's teachers took a special interest in him. Gustave Moreau was sure Henri Matisse could become a great artist one day. He often traveled to find new and interesting things to paint. He usually went to places that were bright and sunny. On one trip, he was introduced to an impressionist artist named John Russell. And Ray became very interested in the way that Russell used bright dabs of color. There's a big difference in this one. It's nice and bright, whereas the other one was kind of dark. He began to study other Impressionist painters like Claude Monet and Camille Pissarana. Soon he began to add more color to his own paintings. In the dinner table, Henry added beautiful flecks of color to the flowers, fruit, and glassware. So he started adding color. Henry Matisse loved the new colors he put in his paintings. He decided to leave art school and try painting his own way. Sometimes it's good to do things your own way. As he went along, his colors became brighter and brighter. Some of his artist friends thought his new paintings were great. One of them liked the painting below so much that he bought it from Enray. But Enray wasn't satisfied with his new style. He wanted to experiment with more color and try using larger shapes and thicker lines to make his work show more impression. He just wasn't satisfied, was he? He just wanted to keep growing as, as an artist. During the years Enray was experimenting with his art, he wasn't able to sell many paintings. He was married by this time, and he and his wife, Amelie, and had two sons. Enray also had a daughter. Emily did everything she could to help her husband. Besides raising their family, she also modeled for Enray and worked in a hat shop to make extra money. The Matisses were so poor and hungry at this time that Enri said he was often tempted to eat the fruit he used as models for his painting. How's your new painting coming, dear? I'm not sure. Something needs to be seems to be missing. Look, he painted eaten fruit. <laughs> In 1905, and Ray Matisse and some artist friends entered their latest colorful paintings in a show. These paintings started an uproar. It's come a long way. People were shocked. They thought these artists just slopped wild colors on the canvas. They were especially angry about Enray's painting of Amelie wearing a hat. This is his wife. Some people were so insulted that they wanted to destroy the painting. A writer who saw the show named the artist the Fobs, a French word that means wild beast. It didn't seem very nice, but he didn't mind. I don't know, Matisse. I don't like the looks of it. People, look, everybody's trying to go and blow it up and stuff. During that period, it was just a short time for Enri Matisse. He was more interested in looking for new ways to improve his art. And here's another portrait of his wife. See some triangles and a little pattern. And Ray started to move away from the bright, dashing colors he used in the 
portrait of Mrs. Matisse. He began to use calmer colors and decorative lines. In Joy of Life, Ben Ray was able to create a more dreamy, soothing picture. And if you remember, that's what he always wanted to do. Calm. On one of his many trips, Ben Ray visited Algeria, a sunny North African country. He saw lots of exciting designs on carpets and wallpapers and people's clothing there. He began to add these decorative designs to his painting. In Harmony in Red, Ben Ray used these designs to arrange the flat surface of his painting. It's interesting to compare this painting to the earlier one shown on page 17. Let's go back to 17 and see what that's about. Oh, it's kind of like very formal here, fancy. And then here, it's kind of fun. Same subject, but everything is brighter and fuller and just looks really nice. He's really developed as an artist, hasn't he? Henry Matisse created dance for the large hallway. It is one of the most important paintings of modern time. Henry used very simple flat shapes and bright colors. He chose the bluest of blues for the sky and the greenest of greens for the earth. He used red for the dancers to show their energy. In his later years, when most artists start to slow down, Henry surprised people by creating art that was fresher and more colorful than before. When he was older and had trouble standing at his easel, he switched to a new form of art that could be done sitting down. He finally got to that big, bright art. He cut out shapes from brightly colored paper to make some of his most exciting work ever. He said it was like drawing with scissors. So these were just cut out sheets of paper. Pretty cool, huh? I bet you could do that. Henry Matisse lived to be 84 years old. By the time of his death, his work was known all over the world. As an artist, Henry Matisse was much more than a painter. He was famous for his sculptures, and line drawings too. In 1948, he designed an entire chapel. He used all his talents to create the stained glass windows, the murals for the wall, the floor design, the furniture, and even the priest row. And there's a picture of the chapel, and that's a, a photograph of Matisse. Now, what's so cool about art is that art if you can draw lines and triangles and ovals and circles and cylinders and cubes, you can be an artist. And on the next uh, slide, you're going to see me give instructions for how to use the cylinder to draw the picture of the goldfish. I hope you enjoyed learning about Enray Matisse.